Welcome back to the story of my samurai and the way of the warrior. Let's continue. Eddie turned awkwardly and moved to sit with the man who he now realized knew more about his family than he did. He avoided the man's gaze, embarrassed by his teary eyes. They sat facing each other. The small table separated them. We have some important things to discuss, Mr. Takamoto announced, passing a cup to his young guest. What do you know about the samurai? Eddie's tired brain lit up. His eyes widened. The warriors were called samurai. His father used to tell stories about them. He's a samurai? Like in the old days? Eddie said, glancing at the door. I hope you remember what your father taught you, said Mr. Takamoto. Eddie looked down at his tea. Some things. I remember some of it, yeah. Mr. Takamoto sighed. Let's talk about the warrior who turned up outside your apartment last night. The same warrior who is now standing outside my shop. Yes, he is a samurai. And he was one of the bravest and most famous samurai who ever lived. What do you mean lived? He's real, isn't he? Said Eddie. Drink your tea and listen carefully. Said Mr. Takamoto. He is real, and he is not real. It will take time to explain, and we don't have time for that today. Today we need to talk about you. And you need to pay attention. The young man sat back apprehensively, aware of the deep silence in the shop at that moment. Eddie Sato, you are the son of a Japanese samurai. Eddie's breathing stopped. Your father, your father's father, and his father were all samurai. Eddie's hand and cup floated in midair. There have been samurai in your family since the 11th century. Mr. Takamoto refilled his cup. Eddie refilled his lungs. The elderly man continued. The samurai who has mysteriously appeared in your life has been sent as a messenger. His appearance is an invitation for you to train to become a warrior like your ancestors. Mr. Takamoto sat back, sipped his tea, and watched the young man with curiosity. So boy, did you get all that? Eddie started to shake his head then sprung to his feet. No way, he said. That's just too weird. And even if it is true, I don't think it's for me. Being a warrior and a samurai. No thanks. Mr. Takamoto sat quietly as Eddie cautiously returned to his seat. The samurai has delivered the invitation by appearing to you last night. He has also protected you. You are fortunate to have him here. I have told you what I know. The rest, he said pausing, is now up to you. The samurai protected me? Really? Eddie scoffed. He could have protected me back on the street when I told him to. But he didn't. He could have saved me and smashed those guys, Lenny and the others. Mr. Takamoto looked at the young man coldly. Let's leave that for now. What's important for you to know is the samurai's invitation is a rare gift. So many people desire it, and so few are offered it. It is an honor. Eddie looked away. The pair sat quietly for a few moments. Eddie finally stood and moved away from the uncomfortable silence. He regretted his words, but it was too late now. They've been said. Go and get some rest, Mr. Takamoto said. Come back tomorrow morning early. We will talk more then. Eddie walked to the shop entrance and turned back. What about the samurai? He said. What do I do with him? At last, an intelligent question. Mr. Takamoto laughed from his seat. You don't do anything with a samurai boy. But I know he is thinking about what to do with you. Now that should concern you. He chuckled to himself. Don't be worried. You are safer than you can imagine. His eyes smiled. Off home with you now. Eddie stood still. What is it? Mr. Takamoto coughed as he stood up. Thank you, Eddie said. Mr. Takamoto paused with his hands on his hips. Eddie continued. Thanks for bringing me here and kinda saving my ass. And the apple? Eddie had the awkward feeling again. Oh yeah? The apple. Thanks, he said. 
Sorry. I mean sorry. The elderly man, Eddie's grandfather's best friend, turned and walked into the shop's kitchen. All right, son, he said. You finished better than you started. There's hope for you. Go now. It's been a big day and they just get bigger from here. Join us again for episode 12.